for the guys that killed him, you really killed a good guy. Mm -hmm. You know, you just don't know. He would have been a good friend to you, but you never gave him the chance. Tonight, a heartbroken family of a murdered young man speaks out to the killers who left him for dead. Family members tell us 22-year-old Robert Reynolds was shot and killed around 4 this morning. He was rushed to the hospital and died from his injuries. Action News reporter Corey James met with the victim's mother, who says she was there in the final moments of his life. Corey? Yeah, Veronica, Robert Reynolds' family says he was a local rapper who took the time to mentor young musicians. So it's a shock to them as to why anyone would want to harm and shoot him multiple times in the back. It's hard. <laughs> I just want this all to stop. <sighs> like any family grappling with the loss of a loved one, and there being no rhyme, no reason for it, holding on to each other is the only thing to get them through the heartache and pain. Kill for nothing, you know? This is not about being in a gang, you know? You just made music and, uh... <laughs> This family is no different. Their brother and son, Robert Quinn Reynolds, at just 22, was murdered in front of his apartment complex on Winery Avenue. The shooting happened at around 4 Sunday morning. Reynolds' mother tells us she was there on the sidewalk as her youngest child took his last few breaths. I sit there while he was dying, taking his last breath and just held him, and I just prayed. As I was praying, it's like a light came over me and my son. And I just figured that was God telling me he's all right with me. Fresno police are investigating what is now the 23rd homicide of the year. We don't have any reason to believe that this is a random incident. We believe that the individuals possibly knew each other and that the individuals were involved in a some kind of disturbance. A disturbance Reynolds' family will now have to live with forever without him. And as this candlelight memorial, surrounded by flowers, lights up the very spot Reynolds was killed, his mom and siblings stand together, finding peace and knowing he's in a better place. I might cry, baby, but it's happy cries because I remember you, the good guy you are. My son, he just gone with Jesus. Now, it is unclear if the shooting was gang related, but police say they have leads on who may have pulled the trigger. Authorities right now are looking for two people. Live in the studio, Corey James, ABC 30 Action News.